drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. Red Alliance starts off in the tight cluster formation. Blue Alliance starts off more spread out. Team, Team Taters of the Blue Alliance is immediately able to shoot its three power cells into the upper port to go get three more. But it did five cells in the, the autonomous time is a big advantage for the Blue Alliance. As the human players take over, the droids start mixing more into each other. Team 4585, Husky Robotics, moves down on the red end of the field to play defense. And initially begins harassing one of his friends, the Grave Diggers. Team 159, Alpine Robotics, has a nice hard shot that it's able to consistently shoot. Team Tater, flying out of hyperspace, comes down and is able to line up and fire an impressive salvo and, and then run back to its loading station to get more balls. Team 668, the Apes of Wrath, is able to load in many power cells into the lower port of its power station. Team 6643, the new build bots, intend to shoot from the trench run or further away. Husky Robotics is again running interference down on the red end of the field. Alpine Robotics is it, it's still taking its long hard shots. On the blue end of the field, unencumbered Team Taters is able to pick up more power cells of my... <laughs> That sound means that there's 30 seconds left of the match. Team Taters and, and the Grave Diggers are both lining up for depth of bliss. The Grave Diggers have made a lift. Will they be able to hold it? to 60. Each member of the Blue Alliance will receive two ranking points for this victory.